everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a smoky eye, blue smoky eye. It's a little bit darker, I did the silver and gray on the outside, and I did the blue a little bit more on the um, middle of my lids, and also used that to smoke it out a little bit. So yeah, I really enjoyed creating this look for you. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. So. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here we are. I already have my base down. So I've done my foundation, I've done my eyebrows, I filled them in, and I primed my lids. So let's get into the fun part. For this look, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Revolution uh, eyeshadow palette, a Naked 2 Basics palette, and another Urban Decay. I believe this is the Beauty with a Vice palette. Starting off with the Urban Decay palette, we're taking the color Skimp in a fluffy brush, and we're just setting our base there. Next up, we're going to take Frisk from the same palette and use the same brush and put that in our crease for a little bit of definition. To further deepen up our crease, we're going to take the color Primal and we're going to put that right over that previous color that we just laid down. Moving on to color, we're taking that Makeup Revolution palette and we're putting those two pretty blue colors on a flat brush and we're putting that on our lid all over and deepening it up to our heart's content. Next we're taking Moonshadow from the Urban Decay palette and I'm putting it on the same brush that I used previously for the other blue colors and I'm just deepening up the crease with this pretty pretty blue and making a V on the outer crease. Next I'm taking the darkest blue from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm putting that on a smaller tapered brush and I'm putting that in the crease a little bit more. I'm going to go back to the uh, Urban Decay palette and I'm going to take that moon shadow color and deepen up the look a little bit further. Then we're going to be taking Primal from the Naked 2 Travel Size Palette and putting that on a fluffy brush and I'm just blending that into the crease to give it give us our gray look. And then blend, blend, blend. Next up we're taking Mushroom from Urban Decay and we're putting that on a little flat liner type brush and we're going to place that on the inner corner to start adding silver to the look. I needed a little bit more silver, so we're being Moss Fonsi, and oh gosh, the name Chanel Epitant, maybe? We're taking that on the same brush, and we're putting that in the inner corner a little bit more to make it much more silvery. I'm going back in with Undone by Urban Decay, and I'm putting that in the V to darken it up a little bit more. Next, I wanted to add a little bit more blue to the look. I felt like it was lacking it a little bit, so I'm taking some Fix Plus by MAC, and I'm taking, I can't remember which blue color it is that I used, but I'm putting this right in between the silver and the gray, and then we are blending it all together, nice and seamlessly, or at least the best that I got. As I was adding a little bit more of that Chanel Epitant, or whatever color it is, uh, to the inner corner, I decided to take it and draw it up my, um, I guess you would say the, the top of my lid, and put it into the crease to act as a little bit of like a highlight peekaboo type effect. <laughs> done with the upper lid. To line my upper lash line, I'm using the NYX Matte, Matte Liquid Liner. Holy cow, that's hard to say. And I'm just giving myself a little wing, nothing extremely intense because I'm definitely not a pro at that. Uh, but here is my attempt at doing a professional looking liquid winged liner. 
For the lashes, I'm throwing on these Huda, Huda Beauty Jade number 13s. They are fox mink. They are big and dramatic, at least for me. Uh, before I put those on, I am letting my lash glue dry on my lashes, and I'm just curling my lashes with my Lancome Curler and putting on some Flawless Definition Bare Minerals Mascara. And I'm just coating my top lashes a couple of times and prepping them for my falsies. To get started on the rest of my face, I'm just wiping off any of the excess fallout there may be. And for my concealer, I'm taking a Estee Lauder concealer. This is double wear concealer. It's pretty light for me, but that's okay. And I'm blending it out with a, I'm sorry, I don't know the number, but it's a Morphe brush. And after that, I'm going to be uh, sharpening up the corners of my eyeshadow there with a flat headed, uh, just a concealer brush. And then I'm taking actually a Tarte foundation brush and I'm blending out the rest of everything. Next I'm going to be setting my concealer and the rest of my areas that are prone to creasing. I'm using the Tarte Smooth Operator Loose Setting Powder and I really like this. However, it does have flashbacks so just be careful. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with this NARS All Day Luminous Foundation and I'm sorry I didn't get to show you that color very well but it is Santa Fe Medium 2 and I'm going in with a Real Techniques Powder Brush to set the rest of my face. For bronzing slash contouring, I'm taking this e.l.f. little duo quad thing in Turks and Caicos, and I'm sorry I didn't show you the color, um, but I'm taking a Sony Kashuk brush, I think this is a blush brush, and I'm just hitting uh, my cheeks, the areas that I would naturally contour and bronze, uh, my jawline and my temples, and I'm also taking a little Morphe brush, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you the number in here, um, I can look it up if you want me to, and I'm just contouring the nose a little bit, so I'm hitting either side of the bridge, and then a little bit right on the tip of my nose, and then also going into the, I guess you would call it the eye socket a little bit more. And I'm just using my finger to blend out the nose. Taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in that middle bottom ashy color, I'm deepening up my contour and I'm chiseling out those cheekbones and I'm also hitting the bottom lip as well, giving it a nice little plump plump. Back to the eyes, we're starting off the lower lash line by taking Urban Decay in the color Primal and we're putting that on a little tapered brush and putting that all along the lower lash line. Next we're taking Moonshadow by Urban Decay and I'm really bummed that the uh, camera didn't pick up the actual coloration of this but we're adding blue just to the outer uh, corner of the lower lash line and I'm just dragging that in uh, just to add a little bit of a darker uh, smoky and also blue effect to the lower lash line. I'm going back with the Chanel Is It Epitent and I'm using that same brush that I already used on the for the blue on the lower lash line and I'm just taking that pretty silver and putting that in the inner corner on the lower lash line. To line my waterline I'm taking this Makeup Forever little pencil that I got probably as a um, BIB Perks point and I'm just lining my waterline there. <laughs> And we are just dusting away all the baking that we did previously. And for highlight, I'm going back with that Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm taking the little uh, pinkish highlight shade in there. I was trying to go for more of a silverly, silvery look, um, but the pigment of this highlight wasn't exactly what I was expecting or hoping for. So I ended up going in and taking my finger just to add a little bit more pigmentation. It wasn't really silver, uh, but it was the closest thing that I have for a silver highlighter. You'll see I'm putting that on my upper brow bone, I put it on my nose, and also my cupid's bow. <music> to finish off the under eyes, I'm just coating my lower lashes with the same Bare Minerals mascara, and then moving on to lips. So this is the Milani color in, I believe it's nude, yep, nude. And I'm just going to be lining my lips here so, so gracefully, making lots of beautiful faces. Oh, gee. 
and actually I ended up going over top of this I didn't get it on camera but I went it over on top of it with a uh, darker sort of ashy liner so you'll see be able to see that here possibly and for lips I'm going in with Anastasia liquid lip and this is in the color oh geez I think it's crush yeah it's crush and we're just putting on that liquid lipstick <laughs> almost done so I'm just taking a q-tip and I'm trying to get rid of any mascara marks and then I'm taking that prep and prime fix plus and I'm setting my creation and um, then drying that off and here we go guys here's the finished look thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day